So, staying out here on my porch, just kind of enjoying the day. You know, I'm out here in Santa Barbara, <laughs> Hollywood Hills. So, I want to tell you about the three greatest lessons that I ever learned. Like the guy with the glasses, he shows his whole fucking house. You wait for him to say something interesting. He don't. He never says anything interesting. Anyways, um, this is for my mama. Um, got me a little, little apartment. Big place, actually. Uh, this is the living room, which I haven't done much with. I think it'll make a good office slash studio. That's where I spend most of my time. There's a bunch of uh, newspapers, uh, local newspapers. So, you know, we'll see what's going on around these hills. <laughs> really, just a quick overview. Um, spacious room, right? Windows. There's a closet. Here's a hallway. A bathroom. Toilet. Everything works. Running. It's in good order. Here's uh, two bedrooms. It's going to be a library, books, and papers. I need to get it in shape. Another closet. Big, actually, walk-in closet. I probably can put boxes and shit in there. Especially since I'm going to be using this bedroom as uh, sleeping quarters. So I'll be sleeping here. Library there. Studio out in front. Don't have any dressers or anything. Eventually, in due time. Um, the, supposedly, the floor, you know, they say they can't hear me downstairs cooking some. Um, looks about done, I think. I'm cooking some hamburgers. I had Kobe Jack. I had hamburger. I had everything French bread. Most delicious fucking hamburger I've ever made in my life. Just regular hamburger. It's, I got all this from Walmart, but Walmart's got this bakery. Everything French bread. And so they have these, you know, I guess French bread. Just drop it down and they bake it, bake in the loaves. Some of them are plain, but sometimes they'll put everything. I guess, I don't know what er everything means, but there's spices and garlic. and uh, it, it doesn't, it adds actually enough flavor. The whole sandwich was flavored with this, but also had put the hamburger um, spices in it too. So Colby Jack cheese, hamburger spices, regular fucking, you know. I think it actually said zero. Was, uh, Premium something. I don't know. Some animal had to die. Right. Every day an animal's got to die just so I can live. But yeah, I got to. It's a little messy here. So lights work all right. So they got me a little closet. A bunch of shit they got to go through. Fridge, stove, hot water heater. And, um, yeah, so basically a mess, but all my stuff is in a safe location, tools, uh, the washer leaks, so I gotta get a new washer, the dryer actually is working okay, so that's good news, all right, but another sort of walk-in closet, so I mean this big-ass fucking porch, good area, good view, big kitchen, big laundry room, big living room, bedrooms are sizable, two of them, and a bathroom, and all for me, the uh, only downsides, I guess, is sort of, I don't know how much the people, I, I always hate living so close to other people, not not because of them, but but it's because of me, <laughs> like when I walk, if I'm up at 2 o'clock in the morning, I know they got kids downstairs, so I don't want to be stomping around everywhere, so I just, uh, I tiptoe, right, and that's a social thing that we do, we tiptoe, and, um, and that's okay, there's no, no problem with that, but I just, I don't want to get on their nerves, and I don't want to, I really don't care, like, about their conversations and stuff, I'm not, I would love to be in the middle of their conversation, and talking to them and seeing what's going on, but a lot of times I think it's best for neighbors to kind of keep their distance, um, you know, I don't know, it's, it's up to them, it's up to them, it's up to them how far this relationship progresses, <laughs> Uh, there's also barking fucking dogs, man. This ne next door neighbor's dogs. I guess I'll share that last.
There's um, you know, bedroom here. Really nice view, right? Of the hip of the hills, Just Appalachian hills. Ah, the dog's fucking barking. You're like, wait a second. I need to be an asshole for no reason. These dogs right across the way there in the pen. Two big ass fucking sort of medium sized dogs. Not, you know, medium, you know what I mean. They're not chihuahuas. Sometimes that, there's like a lightly colored one and a dark one. The lightly colored one would be jumping up and down on the fence. If, uh, when it, you, it barks at you, you don't run away scared. It barks all night long. Pisses me the fuck off, to be honest with you. I think it's the guy's house up here. He's put these dogs here, and then his father's old lives down there. And there's an old lady that takes care of him. But, uh, what the fuck? It's like, I gotta set your dog up. I, I've, you know, I've stared at it a couple times. I've been able to... Uh, sort of look it down so when it's me it don't really fuck with me too much uh, but it's definitely not not deers or rabbits or anything else around here so I don't know what it's fucking problem is but uh, it's it's okay with me but I mean I guess I'm in a do I call the police do I need to I've already talked to the lady and I try to talk to the old man but I guess I could talk to the guy up up at the top just being like man your dogs are fucking loud and it's sort of bullshit and um, you know we're neighbors here, so I don't mind it, but you need to keep your, I need to go to sleep. What the fuck? You know, they're barking in my ear. Barking at nothing. And there's no... There, if there's a danger or whatever, okay. But no danger? Shut the fuck up. So, I guess I could use these shelves. They got shelves here, shelves here. Shelves are... There's a shelf up there. Shelves are in Hodgman, actually, right now with all this shit. I don't have any... Oh, look at all this. Shelves galore. So, okay, I won't, I won't go clean. I can't even move around this thing. No wonder I don't spend any time in this kitchen. <laughs> Fuck this kitchen. I'm going to the living room where it's nice and simple, right? Perfect. Love this room.